Hi everybody, it's Julie here and today I have another layout using the uh, Take Me Away paper pad. And I thought we're going to focus on one problem or one area really. So I'm going to show you how I did the background to solve the quote unquote problem. Okay, so the problem <laughs> that I have found myself when you, because I have made a few layouts now using this paper pad and it's really fun and I really love it. Uh, it's not that. What I found to be the problem quote unquote is texture. Because I'm working with the paper pad uh, that is paper. <laughs> uh, I found that I really want to add in more texture. Obviously you can add in now. I've been trying to keep very true to the paper pad but I also want to show that you can add more texture uh, but still using mostly the paper pad. Obviously I'm going to add in some other things uh, to add to that but I thought I was going to share some tips with you. So I made this layout and I've added quite a lot of texture on it. <laughs> so the first one, I took one of the papers that had all of the squares on it and I cut them up and I'm going to use almost all of them. I took out the mint but other than that I'm going to use pretty much all of them and add them sort of that the colors go from one color to the next. And just doing this uh, I'm going to use a grey cardstock here, adds a lot of colour and a lot of texture because I don't put it all neatly. I stack them on top of each other and that, I mean, that makes that I get some fun, interesting things happening on the page but I still get texture because of all of those papers layering onto each other. Now if I had used a glue gun then I would get even more texture because glue gun adds more texture but I just added with the uh, with glossy accent but that adds texture obviously I mean it looks a lot more texture now than I did before um, part two of it because I'm not done <laughs> I'm going to add stitching and I think you can add stitching to pretty much anything and you're going to get a lot of texture with that I love how that looks and I'm going to do it very easily for me. So I have this square, it's slightly bigger than the others. And I'm just going to go around it. And I'm going from the back here because I don't want to look at the patterns. Because I want them sort of um, randomly. So I don't frame a specific pattern. And I'm just going to go with white thread here. That is also why I chose to go with a back... Uh, with a grey background is because I really like when you get those white pops really so I'm going to add some white thread and it took some time obviously <laughs> but I really like how it looks. Uh, you can also do this with a sewing machine they're so much easier but my sewing machine is on a strike so I do it by hand. <laughs> But here I also, I mean, I use all the six strands here, so you get a lot of texture because I add pretty thick uh, thread. Um, so yeah, oh, there we go, not, mm, darn it. <laughs> so yeah, here we go. And um, I'm going to add some mats to my photo that adds texture too, but I'm not done. So here you can see sort of how it looks with those squares randomly on top of the other random squares. Um, and the third thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take that away a bit, is add white paint. So that adds a bit of another texture too. Now I know some don't like paint and think it's messy, then fine, by all means skip it. I really like it. So I'm going to add some white here and like I said I really like how it looks having those white against the grey or any colour really. You get that freshness out of the white. So yeah I have the paper laying on top of each other to create texture. I have sewn to create texture and now I'm adding some paint to create texture too. And that is my tip for adding texture when you just have paper. Obviously you can add a lot more. Here I have some tool I'm going to add behind my photo. Um, but when I, no, when I just have the paper pad, I think it's really fun. I see it more as a challenge really to sort of, to push myself and see how far I can get or how much I can do 
with just using the paper pad. Obviously I'm going to add in other stuff but how long, how far can you get with just one paper pad and uh, through this little experiment I think I have got pretty far. I mean I have done quite a few pages. I have done um, tea and inserts and all of that kind of stuff and I think it's really fun to see because I think these paper pads are really great value and you can get a lot of it done with just this. And that also makes me realize how much I really like the other stuff. <laughs> um, the stickers and the embellishments that you get pre-made that you can just sit down and start crafting. So my conclusion, I suppose, I'm not done with this series. I have a few other uh, videos coming up so I won't go go all analytic on you just yet but I do think one of the things I really realized during this whole process is um, the value. Do I think, as, do I have more value on the money that I save or do I have more value on my time so it's actually worth spending the extra money and getting the stuff or can I spend the time and sit and fuss a cat or printing cat and do my own embellishments? It's just something I'm putting into your mind to think about through the next two weeks. <laughs> but I do have to say that this collection is such a good collection. Um, I think we also tend to forget the older collection when we... Um, when I mean, the collection comes, usually a designer puts out two a year and then there's a lot of designers and I think we sort of tend to forget them a bit. Um, but this is a really good collection. I really like the colors. So yeah, I'm really happy I picked this one up again or picked it up, period. <laughs> so yeah. But yeah, so the uh, point with this video was not to show you how to actually put the whole thing together um, because it's done right now. There we go. Uh, the point is to show the, the texture. So all I did after I put the camera off was adding the title the journaling and then the some enamel dots and that is it but yeah so I hope you have liked this video and the tips on adding some texture when you just quote unquote have paper um, I really like this layout by the way <laughs> I hope you like this video too and that you will come back to see more what I do with the take me away paper panda <laughs>